Good. And then just pin the ball right in the center of your sternum and go up and down, just mowing through. You don't necessarily think that there is a lot going on underneath the skin on top of the sternum, but there is. This is a transition zone where the pecs literally tendonize themselves onto the skin of the sternum. And this area can get really tight. If you're a huncher, if you're a smoker, I find that this area is extremely congested. So why don't you pin yourself there and then go ahead and just spin. Wind it up as deeply as you can and stop it. And then take both arms and raise them all the way up overhead and then come back down, be like an eagle. Free it up, very nice. And then you come down. And then go ahead and go back to that left side of your chest. So go ahead and wind that tissue up as tightly as you can. Keep it pinned and then abduct that arm, make a snow angel motion all the way out to the side mm -hmm. and up overhead and then bring it down and go ahead and extend it. Bring the arm back behind you. Uh-huh. And you can even handcuff yourself, wrap your form towards me. And you can imagine that if I'm sitting at the computer all day long, one of the things that happens is my body's gonna start to adopt to this kind of rounded shoulder posture. Now, it's sort of a misnomer to say we're stretching the tissues, because what we're really doing is just restoring the tissues to their normal resting position. And in the normal resting position, this pec actually stabilizes these sternocostal joints and ends up stabilizing the shoulder joint. And when I'm dysfunctional, the pec actually has to come up and around. It has a bad axis of motion. It destabilizes this joint and causes a lot of shear at this painful joint. Better position and the body automatically upregulates. So one other thing I want to add for my lady friends out there is you don't want to drive the ball hard into your breast tissue. You wanna see if you can try to perimeter the breast tissue. You can actually take the ball and go under the breast tissue and trying to look for some of the, uh, the intercostal uh, fingerings as well, uh, but not hard pressure against that, the soft fatty layer of the breast tissue. So if you've had implants or augmentation, it's important to continuously restore your thoracic cage. And a lot of that restoration is gonna happen by permitting more motion into these uh, pectoralis tissues, especially if there's been scarring on one side or the other.